Good morning, lovely YouTubers. Do you know what I have today? I have the bridge. The bridge as an archetype from the Kim Cran's guidebook. I'm going to read it to you. So if you want to read the earlier parts of this book, it's in the other tarot readings. Okay. The last part that I read was their qualities. Qualities of the archetype and their intentions. What do archetypes want? What do they intend for us? It seems to me archetypes ask many things of us. They ask us to stretch our minds and hearts beyond their limits and have a particular knack for getting us to do so. They confuse, conjure, contradict and complicate. Don't be discouraged if you feel as though you understand them less as you study them more. This means you are entering the liminal world, like a Zen Khan. What is that? Cohen. I'm so sorry about this. Sometimes I get these words wrong because I can't sit. I can't read the writing with the glasses. Like a Zen Cohen, archetypes draw us in toward the power of the unknowable. What follows are just a few ways they do this, but there are surely more, and quite possibly there's some that we're not even aware of. They insist on the imagination. Archetypes move us from the literal to the mythic. They do this by getting us out of our heads and into the space of dreams, emotions and imagination. We may feel like we are swimming or under a spell when we first start to work with the cards. This is a sign that they're working their magic on us. We spend so much time in our egoic, rational, intellectual headspace that dropping into the sensuous dreams and longings of our soul can be wonderful and unsettling. Relax as much as possible and let the images do their work. Archetypes move us from the one to the multiple. Sorry, they insist on multiplicity. From the right way to the many ways. They prefer potentials over answers collaboration over convention, dynamism over singularity, and inclusion over rejection. In this way, they challenge us to expand our senses of self, to include what we had previously rejected. Archetypes will bring the grotesque, unlovable parts of ourselves and our culture to the dinner table so that we can get to know them. Archetypes throw the wildest of dinner parties and everyone is invited. They insist on the collective. At their core, archetypes tie us back to the collective. In studying the mother, it's possible for us to look beyond our biography and sense the mother in our culture, in history and in myth. As soon as we step outside the drama of our story and see how it is a thread woven into the fabric of the story. We are looking through an archetypal lens. The power in this method is that we build understanding and compassion for the world as we build understanding and compassion for ourselves. It's an infinite win-win. Why do they insist on these things? Because they want us to grow. The challenges and wonders the archetypes present to us move us towards our growth edge toward the unknown, toward a deeper and more creative experience of life. They captivate our minds and hearts so we are compelled to take the next step on our inner guest. That's interesting isn't it? And then the next little bit I'm going to be reading is archetypes versus stereotypes, the sacred pairs and trifectas, the missing hero, a pendulum there, I've got, and then understanding the decks the places, the tools, the initiations and then using the cards before you begin. Follow the image. Mm. Crown, heart, root, summon the divine. Three cards. The inner quest, who, where, with what and why. There's different ways of reading these cards. The underworld, the past, heaven, future, self. The heroine's journey. Call the threshold, the ordeal, boom, the return. Card rotation, what it means when they're round different ways. 
final thoughts selves okay and then there's the descriptions of these cards so let's have a look at the bridge shall we the bridge the bridge bridges and underneath the headline for the bridge it says the connection the line the gate meaning acceptance magic communication bridges are built to connect two worlds they create flow allowing us to travel between realms ideologies personalities this archetype is the gesture of acceptance saying yes rather than withdrawing separating and saying no when we cross a bridge to an unknown land we are led magically into a new reality we open up to otherness healing and communication are made possible we enter a state of curiosity wonder and learning the shaman for example creates the bridge between the everyday world and the sacred this card asks us to study the connections between the seemingly disconnected parts of our life relationships ideologies histories remember that a bridge can't be forced it must be made with love or its structure will not withstand the inevitable weather of life imagine building a bridge then imagine building a wall which energy is needed for the situation at hand which image softens and heals the heart lie on the floor and listen to bridge over troubled water the song notice the ease and acceptance within the melody the feeling of rising above the muck okay so the bridge i'm going to shuffle some cards and think about the bridge the bridge and i notice it is red green and orange it's like the rainbow bridge the rainbow bridge is what sometimes people refer to when they talk about a person going over to spirit they say they're waiting for you on the rainbow bridge and i've heard this particularly for animals you know like when you have a dog in spirit or a cat in spirit people refer to the animal bridge and the animal rainbow bridge is there a, a rainbow bridge for humans is there i've got these three stones today the pink one the blue one and the green one now they have all got lovely names they have but i've lost the little card that tells me what they are do you think i know what i've done with it no because i've had a weekend of traveling my tarot cards around i've been out doing reading in someone's house and tea leaves so now I've come back and put all my cards back indoors shuffle these ones again I can't find the little card that tells me which one is the rose quartz I guess it's this one which one is the lapis lazuli I think it's called which is a blue one I don't think it's either of those but it could be this one oh, before I do this card region I will try and find the card yeah, so let's think about the rainbows shall we oops Let's think about the rainbow bridge. Let's think about the spirit that are trying to help guide us on our daily path. Because obviously there's material bridges. Bridges have got to be the most useful invention known to man, haven't they? Aren't bridges the most intelligent piece of engineering that men have ever come up with? after the will and after being able to fly generally bridges get everyone from a to b we couldn't live without bridges we could but we wouldn't have a very interesting life experience without bridges so let me know dear lovely person watching this next time you go over a bridge or under a bridge next time a bridge shows up in your world hmm. the last bridge that showed up in my world was my tooth bridge <laughs> oh dear the one that broke the one that now I haven't got I'm in between bridges which stops me from smiling at people and smiling at people is often a bridge isn't it between your world and theirs it's an opener, it's a softener 
it allows people to recognize what your intentions are towards them it builds trust and understanding people like smiling it's such a deep human experience of introduction from one person to another it creates a bridge it does and there are so many other things that create bridges there's our cultural understanding of each other there's like when people make jokes and there's a cultural reference that's that they're both familiar with you know like when somebody uses a phrase from a, a movie and everyone laughs because they all know the cultural reference it's a bridge humor is a, another bridge between the, the sorrow and the joy yeah that's right sorrow and joy there's a bridge in fact there's a bridge between all the feelings aren't there there's a bridge between feeling very very miserable and unhappy and the next emotion up and there's one step at a time to be able to get towards the next feeling place once you've learned that there's all these different states that a human can put themselves in or can find themselves in or can be put in depending on what the situation is and depending on what your understanding of using your mind to control your emotional states is and I don't even think it's an understanding it's more of an evolution because even though you can understand logically that you can put yourself in a state of anger how much control do you actually have over the anger that erupts in your everyday life over situations that happen to you some people don't have any control over it at all it just comes out of nowhere and it takes years and years to understand that that source of that anger can be from not looking at situations and thoughts in your subconscious if you don't delve into your psyche and your subconscious and figure out what is making you angry you can carry that around for years years and years now what do we think about these three stones the bridge we've got a nice rose quartz bridge which is a beautiful pink stone isn't it lovely and then we've got this blue stone which has a mottled grey pattern running across it and then we have this green stone which isn't a perfect shape it is a little bit lopsided that is not the bridge you want to see so we've got a lopsided bridge a two-tone bridge and a very caring bridge of love let's have a look at what I think of is the bridge of love first normally I do the hard ones first but whenever I say that they turn out to be the easier reading let's try this shall we the bridge what cards have you got if you're drawn to the pink quartz the two of swords playfulness home sweet home pentacles ten of cups Six of Wands. I don't know if you can see that card. There's two people in a rowing boat, and there's a bird in a cage, and it's looking at all the free birds, but they've taken the bird in the cage out so it can look <laughs> at the outside. Nature. Okay. This was the wolf, the pathfinder release your past start a new journey you are a teacher and help others find their way there will be challenges but your soul is strong perseverance is your secret power and you have a love that endures okay eight of wands five of pentacles and participation okay so you've got to be in it to win it so here's a little story here of the disagreements that are going on within the home the way to solve these and the bridge one of the ways is to focus on the feelings of love and happiness and to be playful 
you are the person that is playful and kind and loving and caring and it leads to happiness at home and it leads to feelings of love this is the ten of cups so it doesn't get higher than the number ten you can't have more love than the number ten at home so the bridge here is between the arguing and the love and that comes from you so the situation that you are currently facing is challenging in that there's doubt as to the financial situation of the future but the eight of wands is saying that you're going to have success with your work now the bridge between success and happiness and your current doubt situation the thing that heals all of that pattern is love the bridge is love and being in it and joining in and participating and being fully involved and so feeling energetic and enthusiastic about whatever it is you're joining in with because if you're joining in with a feeling of I don't really want to be here what exactly are you bringing to the table and is even if you'd rather be out in nature and you'd rather be solitary and you'd rather be just trying to lick your wounds and figure things out this wolf card the wolf's travelling packs and to be part of the pack you have to go and join in so you find the community groups that you're interested in you find other like-minded people you be as loving as you can and you take your loving self with you and love will heal all wounds but you've got to be in it to win it thanks for watching okay let's have a little look at this little blue reading shall we it's eight of cups it's blue take the rose quartz away although you can, I don't think you're going to have too much love should we leave the love there it's the love that helps heal everything body care, that's an interesting card to come up when looking for a bridge ok, kissed by the fairies you are a person who is able to have the gift of speech you can heal things and situations with your speech and this is, don't forget we're looking for the bridge Act independent you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd and life supports you in every way that's interesting you don't have to go with the crowd and life supports you okay the five of cups five of cups and the eight of cups this is feeling as if you are on your own you are alone doing something your work is quite solitary judgment okay so the seven of swords is is the problem and the bridge comes between you and the problem and the fairness and it could even be a legal matter of legal paperwork here as well but you are the queen of cups so you have got complete control in this situation the lady and the lord suggest to me that there's going to be a new person okay now totality what is the link between the bridge between this is the bridge and there's an element of trust between all of these people they all trust that they all know what they have to do and by doing that they all reach their goal they just experiencing trust aren't they They're throwing themselves into the whole situation in totality and so the bridge comes here from not worrying and thinking about body care that's also mental health care so knowing that the universe has got your back that you have a gift of knowing what to say and when to say and how to get to understanding between people so where there's been falling out and arguments the bridge comes from trusting that you your levels of communication are far beyond the people that you're trying to make a bridge with so when you're doing your talking you can easily make yourself understood but when they're doing it they haven't got the same levels of communication so the question here is how do you make a bridge 
between that situation where one person feels like they're doing it all on their own but there's nothing wrong with doing it all on your own as long as that is what you want to be doing and then making a bridge between you and other people who aren't on the same level as you and they haven't got the same depth of emotion and they just don't experience life on the same level that you do the bridge there becomes quite messy doesn't it and it does become quite tarnished and it is draining and it is wearing and it can cause friction it's hard work and the question is whether or not you want to do that you're capable of doing it but it is definitely tarnishing your bridge okay thanks for watching bye for now okay and the final stone which is a lovely soothing green lovely soothing green stone oh romance the bridge for romance the ten of swords that's the tears of the past the tears of the past and the ace of swords so there's obstacles but there's nothing that you can't cut through and the hawk the messenger spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs focus on priorities and eliminate distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights and here's the story of being lifted up and in this romance card the angels are hugging this person who's wanting romance and lifting her up into the realms of the spiritual in order to be able to find the romance so the romance is in the spiritual and here's the calling it is the call of the wild being called by spirit to know which direction to go in and with a heightened awareness so this is your bridge to what you want this is your bridge to where you're going have an increased awareness about what's going on around you the three of pentacles the high priestess wow this is you and the king of cups look at him look at him just sitting there pouring his drink out looking at you like you're some sort of strange creature the eight of wands being able to have pretty much wave your wand and say yeah i want that transformation this is you capable of transforming yourself the situation your whole life can be transformed by you making the bridge between knowing what you want and going out and getting it and the bridge there is you changing and going right that's it this is what i'm doing and you just start taking the actions you've made the decision you put the decision out to the universe you start feeling as though this is where you're going you feel your way into this new state of being and then watch it all unfold around you. Lovely. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.